Hello there, this is the second to last chapter um, and also the second to last episode or recording. Uh, this is part number 17. Uh, I did actually record all of this beforehand. Uh, I recorded the, the entire chapter and then I found out that my software wasn't actually recording so I've had to this is the second time I'm doing it uh, but we are in the the Citadel now as you can see uh, making our way up through the Citadel Oh, um, if you suffer from any motion sickness then you probably don't want to watch this part and you might want to skip forward. Uh, there's a lot of rocking about. Alternatively, you could man up. Um, there's not really going to be much going on in this chapter, if I'm honest. It's just going to be. Well, actually, there is there is quite a bit. Um, just this first couple of minutes are riding this little prisoner cage thing, um, and then just it's just kind of looking at looking at everything. Uh, I'm not sure what those those tubes are organic, but I'm not sure. You can, you can see they've got veins in them. They're big, big, thick veins. Uh, big, thick tubes with veins in them. Uh, I'm not actually sure what they do or what they're for. Um, they might be of interest. Uh, it's kind, it's kind of odd. Uh, maybe some sort of weird electrical cabling. Anyway, you can see a stalker there on the left, just about. You get a better look at one earlier, uh, later on, sorry. Um, and that's basically what the, the Combine do to any human resistance members that um, are caught. Now, these, these three um, striders are just there to show you how how big the, the Citadel really is. You know, it's just to give you a... You can, so you can compare the two. Although if you can if you can tell how big it was by this ride, then you know. But they just did that anyway. Uh, there's a little power power line there. I feel like I'm giving one of those guided bus tours. If you look to your left, you'll see, and if you look to your right, you'll see a couple more strikers, stalkers. Even they're called stalkers. Um, all of the gunships. There's a train. If, if you look to your front, you'll see a train. Um, and another train. Because we haven't seen those in the game yet. Uh, they're just, you know, coming from Nova Prospect and going to Nova Prospect. Um, and this is this is coming up to the end end of the. Uh, a little tram ride, and we're thrown into a pacif pacification cell. And I'm, I'm basically just wasting all my ammo because my guns, as you can see, all of my weapons get taken from me. Um, surprisingly, they, they managed to work out that the, the crowbar is a weapon as well. I would have thought that'd have been one of the one of the few things that that wouldn't have been instantly recognised as a weapon. But there you go. 
Um, so anyway, the the pass. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. There, the pacification obviously backfired on the the uh, zero point energy field manipulator, and now we have a, a supercharged one which is capable of picking up bodies. Um, unfortunately, it disintegrates any any guns, so you'll see you'll see their guns just fizzle away like that. Um, now, most for the most part, as long as you, as long as you pay, play it tactically, you'll be okay. It's not really a smart idea to run straight into people without firing at you, unless there's one or two, um, or you, or if you've got no choice. Um, of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it, but there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. Mm, so anyway, uh, Dr. Breen knows that you're inside the Citadel now. Oh, uh, this is also an achievement. Um, if you, see, you saw that guy get fizzled, or disintegrated. Uh, I think it's if you throw five combined soldiers into that, um, and that's that's an achievement. I think it's five. It might be ten. It's one of the two anyway. Um, anyway, you'll notice the the shield and the suit goes up to two hundred now, and also the the shield. Uh, sorry, the uh, the suit recharging station also does your health. Um, you'll notice I put the combined energy ball back into the socket after I'm through the gate. For some reason, I have a I have a habit of um, putting things back the way I found them. Not much to say, it's just fighting off the waves and going up the, the top of the tower, trying to reach the top.
so yes, anyway, you're just just fighting off the combine. Uh, using energy balls and and just attacking them. Not a lot going on. Anyway, just proving his point, destroying everything. Those guys actually surprised me. I wasn't expecting anyone to come to come through there. Um, and there's also the other one. So you can you can do it here as well if you wish, or if you didn't get didn't get it, then back back on the other place. Um, they, I believe they spawned for quite a while, but. I decided to just, you know, move on because uh, I did. I did already do this. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. I did already do this part before. Before, before it decided to not record. So I'm playing through a second time. Now I tried to defend myself uh, to my, the best of my ability. Unfortunately, it didn't work too well. Um, so I, to, I gave it another go. I, I was trying to uh, use the, the pods as cover, but the Sulker, Sulker, what is it called? Strider. They've all got similar sounding names. Uh, I keep, just kept shooting it and made me drop it. So I just decided to hide. That's how I had a problem killing anyone. Uh, but this time I decided instead of instead of uh, picking them up, I just hide behind them, and uh, that that seemed to work for some reason. Anyway, so the, the problem I had was that uh, I didn't really have an awful lot of time to look look around the corner. If I got a hit, I would have been I'd have had about two hits, and I would have been dead, and I'd have to do it all over again. Uh, so I had to just fire them off in random directions, or not in, in the general direction of him, and hope for the best, really. He decided to to wander off whilst I was still trying to fight him, uh, which made it difficult. Um, and then he kept moving up and down every time I fired fired a shot. So I'd fire one there, and then he'd move again. And then eventually I got him. Um, a little a cheeky quick save. He's dead.
Um, again, also another motion sickness warning. Anyway, they're just looking at the... Looking for the... Seeing who's in the, the cells. Um, Uh, those little enemies back there, they were cut enemies. Uh, synths. A lot, a lot of cut enemies and in, in content in this game. So we get we get brief glimpses of the city. Um see, just seeing how high we are. And this is the the final chapter. Uh the city is poorly textured <coughs> uh from this height up, it's just a flat JPEG. Take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of us. Alex, honey... Dad. Gordon? God damn you, Breen, you let her go! Yeah, it's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance your mother never had? <laughs> 
How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combine portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. <sighs> oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? <sighs> Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. <sighs> don't start running. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, sweetheart. <laughs> Judith? What do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. Hurry! Dad, hang on! You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Dad! No, 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 no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. That's my girl. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well... Thanks for coming after me. Hey, listen. That's him. As you can see. He doesn't have a clue, does he? I wonder where he's going. Oh my god. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Green. Shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Do your worst, Gordon. But be careful. Uh, I just like to say thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate yeah, appreciate it as always, and I shall see you for the last part.